evening. Thanks for being with us. Investigators tonight are trying to determine why an experienced pilot had to set his experimental aircraft down on the 15 freeway yesterday, slamming into the back of a car and killing a woman passenger. Five other people remain in the hospital tonight. Here's what we know. The pilot, 62-year-old Dennis Hogue, experienced some sort of trouble with his plane and had to make an emergency landing about 9 yesterday morning on the 15 near Fallbrook, just north of Highway 76. The plane skidded for about 250 feet on its belly before ramming into the back of a Nissan sedan that had pulled over to the side of the road. Witnesses say the plane was flying extremely low and extremely fast and that Hogue tried desperately to maneuver the plane away from traffic. As we said, the crash left one woman dead and five others seriously hurt. Hogue, the pilot, is the only survivor with life-threatening injuries. The driver of the car had pulled over moments earlier to sink his Bluetooth and either never saw it coming or saw it too late. And in a weird coincidence, it is not the first time this particular plane has made an emergency landing on the 15, the exact same plane, touched down along that same stretch of freeway 16 years ago. The FAA says the Lands Air 4P fixed-wing single engine was built back in 2000 with the help of Matthew Noakes, a former all-star Major League Baseball catcher who still lives here in San Diego. In February 2000, Noakes was flying the plane for only the second time and told investigators the engine died in midair due to problems with the oil filter. Noakes says he heard about yesterday's crash and tried to reach the pilot, Dennis Hogue, not realizing he'd been injured. Oakes describes Hogue as a good man, an outstanding pilot, and a master plane builder. Meantime, indeed, we are learning more about the 38-year-old woman who was the only one killed in the accident. KWSI's John Soderman continues our coverage live from Kearney Mesa. Thanks, David. The medical examiner says this is probably the case of a woman who was killed instantly. The San Diego roller derby community mourns the loss of one of its own. A woman described as a tough girl on eight wheels, 38-year-old Tony Isbell, a.k.a. Rockalicious, a member of the San Diego Starlets roller derby team, is killed in a most tragic accident, an accident that begs the question, what were the chances this beloved woman would die on Interstate 15, the result of a downed airplane crashing into the car she is a passenger in, a car sitting on the side of the freeway. Isbell is a passenger in the right rear seat of this black Nissan when the plane tears into it. The medical examiner says she is pronounced dead at the scene without medical intervention. Investigators say the plane must have been traveling at a very high rate of speed when it hit the freeway before slamming into the car Isbell is sitting in. It looks like it touched down multiple times, but again, we're still verifying the ground scars to, to verify that. Touched down and then... Maybe we have a little bit airborne and then touch down again. Isbell's popularity in the roller derby community is clearly evident from the numerous Facebook posts left in her memory. And then there is the incredible response to a GoFundMe account set up to pay for her funeral and burial expenses. Less than 24 hours after she is killed, over $11,000 is raised courtesy of hundreds of donors touched by her death who write, anyone who knew Tony knew how incredibly huge her heart was. She was an amazing friend, daughter, and sister who made sure those she loved knew it. Meantime, the three other people in the Nissan with Esbel recover from their physical injuries, not to mention the psychological and emotional injuries from seeing a friend perish before their very eyes. And then there are the injuries to those in the plane, including the pilot who is fighting for his life, the result of severe head trauma. But it turns out Isbell was not only a roller derby star, but was also a musician, a drummer in a band, which is why her friends say she never missed a beat in the rhythm of life. A life snuffed out in a way so freakishly unimaginable, it doesn't feel real. And the NTSB says it could be up to a year before it's known what happened exactly with that plane yesterday. And Curdy Mesa, John Silver, KUSI News. Thank you, John. Well, earlier this evening, firefighters responded to a house fire, but when they kicked in the door, they found more.